Well, Jesus said it. Jesus said, Jesus says in the New Testament, All right, you're right. how can you say it's David? Yeah, okay, fine. Yeah, right? Yeah, it could be, yeah. yeah. No, no, it right, could yeah. be. I can show you. No, no, show me up, please. But no, 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 no let's please. answer that question. Okay, forget, I'm not gonna you're on camera. Let's no, answer no, that no, question. No, 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 Kiss no, 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 the son no, no. unless he be but angry pray, and you perish pray. in the way. What I'm going to say to you is don't go to me. Go to your own scholars. I will give you the nations for your inheritance. Yeah, yeah. Did Who's David that? get the nations? Yes. That's All the nations on the planet. That's what God said to him. He didn't get he South did Africa. He didn't, he didn't get Australia. But why? What is he answering? Just read the goddamn book. Man. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> You've just blasphemed. You've blasphemed your own God. Just read the Are book. Are you talking about Allah? So I'm saying that the words God and Lord and Son are meant for different things in the Bible. Which is why you'll find in Matthews it says that blessed be the peacemakers for they shall be That's called the That's all deviation. You're telling me that I have to be under an authority of something. Now you're on another subject. No, no, but when are we going to speak what, about God's no, son? I'm saying Proverbs I'm chapter 30, no, no. Psalm 2, hey, Psalm 110, all speaking about what? the son and now no. you are on another planet. No. The Lord how said to God my Lord, how can God speak to God? Uh, Psalm 110, that's the good, 17 good times also, in the New Testament. That's the good 17 also. times in the New Testament. That's the good question. The Bible speaks 17 times. Yes. Psalm 110. The Lord said to my Lord, sit at my right hand till I make your enemies your footstool. How can God speak to God? How can God speak to God? Answer the question. Anyone? Does anyone want to speak? Anyone want to answer the question? Any honest Muslims? How can God speak to God? Anyone? How can God speak to God? Psalm 110. And Jesus My brother, you've got so much hatred on your face to me, man. Peace to you. Peace. Peace. Does anyone want to answer that question? How can God speak to God? How can God speak to God? Anyone? No one wants to answer. Are there any Muslims? I answer you. He's going to answer the question. Come on. You're going to tell us what's the, what's the question? I don't know what's the question. Oh, thank you. Okay. I'll ask the question. I'll ask the question. Yes. How can God say to God, sit at my right hand till I make your enemies your footstool? Yes, yeah, Psalm 110, quoted 17 times in the New Testament. Psalm 110. Uh, when, you, when you grow up and you want to speak about the Bible and you want to speak with respect, Come back to Speaker's oh, Corner, we'll have a debate. Are there any scholars here? Any scholars? Any people of knowledge that can answer the question, how can God speak to God? He said Harry Potter, who's the scholar? Oh. Is this Mr. Hijab? Yeah? Can I ask you a question? In Psalm 110, the Lord said to my Lord, sit at my right hand. Proverbs 30. What's your name, first of all? Greg. <laughs> you haven't even uh, you introduced yourself. Oh, you go. Hi, I'm Greg. Okay, good to meet you. I know you. Greg, yeah? Greg, yeah. So, in Psalm 2, Psalm 22, Psalm 110, Psalm 110 is quoted 17 times in the New Testament, as you know. If Psalm 110 is quoted 17 times in the New Testament, even Jesus said, how can David say, the Lord says to my Lord? Who is that? Who is the Lord saying to my Lord, sit at my right hand? And then when you read further on, he says, um, the Lord is at your right hand. So they swap places. The two lords in Psalm 110 swap places. Proverbs 30, Proverbs 30 says, um, so if I ask you these two questions, which he can't answer, Proverbs 30, who has established all the ends of the earth? Is that Allah? Well, that's a Harry Potter are, you, are you asking this is your question? Yeah, that's the first part of the question. Are, are, we gonna, are you going to say Allah to that? Just continue saying what you want to say. No, I'm asking the question my way, not your way. That's, that's the first part of the question. Who has established the ends of the earth? Allah. Allah, yeah. yeah. What is his name? And what is his son's name, if you know? If Allah's name and his son's name. Right? Yeah, what is his name and what is his son's name? What does the son mean? You're kidding me. What does the son mean? If you look up the etymology and the passing of the word, 
The what sun means. You, what do you understand by sun? The, the, I understand what God tells us by the sun. So tell us what it means. God and the sun are one. Right. Jesus and the Son are one. Yes. He's got one begotten Son. In, in the New Testament, from what I remember, it but says, the, this, I this is the question here in the Old Testament. Let's just take it step by step. Okay. Jump Let's take it step. Yeah. Just take it step. First and foremost, okay, these are all terms which need to be defined. Like even in the Old Testament, when we talk about the word Lord, the word God, the word Son. Like before we can have a conversation, obviously you're going to come with your own Christological understanding of what the sun means or what the God or the, means. Or the Hebrew, or oh, the yeah. Hebrew, uh, no the actual Hebrew. But, but the, word, the word God has been used with the devil in the Bible. The word Lord has been used with more than so many different uh, characters, including But Moses. this is but, Yahweh but, speaking but, to Adonai. I understand, but if, if you're trying to use this to argue for Jesus being God, then all I'll have to do is direct you to John chapter 10, verse number 34, where, when in fact John chapter 10, verse number 30, you know, the famous verse, you know, I and the Father are one. And then the Jews were about to, to stone him. And he came back and he said, in John chapter 10, verse 34, isn't this the way you guys talk? I'm paraphrasing, basically. Isn't it, isn't it written in your scriptures, in the old scriptures, that ye are gods? That's what, it's, that's what Jesus says. Isn't it written in the old scriptures that ye are gods? John chapter 10, verse 34. Meaning what? What do you think Jesus, my point is, what do you think Jesus is trying to say in response to the Jews who are about to kill him that isn't it written in your scriptures that ye are gods? Meaning, this language is not used literally to indicate equality with the Father. I've never heard such a big deviation at Speaker's Corner as you just made. Yeah. Right, I asked cool. you a simple question yeah, and now problem. you've jumped to John chapter 10 and you're telling me about the etymology and the passing of those words. Yeah. If you want to look into the Hebrew or the Greek, you, you can look at the Jesus, Septuagint. Jesus, Jesus you said, can look at the Septuagint. You asked me a question. Now I'm answering your no, question. But I haven't asked my question. You, uh, my question is, how do you respond to the fact? But you first no, asked me, what is the sun? Define sun. How do you respond to the fact that in response to the word gods, Jesus says... No, but that's, no, no, that's you, another subject. Ask my question. Jesus mentioned in John uh, chapter 10, verse number 34, that is not mentioned in the scriptures that ye are gods. Okay. Is he, is, is, let me answer that, that question. Let me, let, me, let, me, let me be specific with my questioning. Is Jesus with that question attempting to prove his own divinity or is he trying to show that the word God is used in some kind of figurative sense to not indicate God, godliness in the full sense? You've asked about 15 questions and you still haven't answered mine. So but I will answer your you question. question. I will answer your question. You question? Your question you is it? fallacious. Yes, I do, because you're speaking about divinity. I'm not, here to name the I'm not here to. I'm not here. I'm busy trying to. I'm not here to. But you can't name the fallacy. Let me name it for you. Straw man fallacy. Why is it straw man? Okay, I'll question. tell you. How could, it, how could a question be a fallacy? Let me tell you. No, no, no. This is problematic. So hold on. Okay, so the that's question, problematic. Wait, Let me. Could you get to speak Craig, over me now? I'm going to speak no, no, over no, you, you, you Mohammed. Craig, Basically, Craig, I asked you Craig, a question, Craig, and the Craig, first question Craig, I asked you, Craig, you was, Craig, what is God's Craig, son's name? You then said to me, define son. A question can be fallacious. You can ask a straw man question. Go and study psychology. You can answer a philosophy. You can ask a. Socrates made a living out of it. That's why he was killed. Please. You answer irony, Craig. you can ask an irony qu ironic Craig. question with a straw man fallacious Craig, question. Listen to me. So, listen to me. How, can, how can you Craig, say there's you no such thing as a straw about. man question? I can't say of that. Of course you can. I can't say that. Uh, I, no, no, hold on, hold on. I, 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 you come here with your I Christian point of view, don't you? Okay, listen, listen, listen. There's a listen, straw, there's a straw man fallacious question. You, you come here let with me, your straw man question. Let me, let me so now thing. let me go back let to the original thing, question. You I'll answer Craig, your question. But thing. you've just said one thing. Let me just say one thing. It's like 15 let me questions. Respond. You said something. Let me respond to it. Okay. Are you are you going to let me speak? Yeah, yeah. Why don't we time this? Fine. But let me just say one thing in response to what you've just said. If you look at a very easy book to read, maybe not really that easy, Organon of Aristotle, yeah? And if you study propositional logic, you'll find that a question itself cannot be wrong. You can, you can have a question with wrong presuppositions. Listen carefully, please, yeah? You can have a question which the assumptions are wrong, but the question itself, which ends with a question mark, which is not a declarative, which is interrogative in its structure, you can't say it's right or wrong. Oh. No, no, listen. You can't say it's a fallacious question. Of course you can. You can. Say, you can no, you cannot say it's a fallacious You can say the question has fallacious presuppositions, which in this case, I don't think it does. You can say the question is not relevant to what we're talking about. So let's get everything right. Number one, let me just repeat uh, my question. Uh, uh, let me, then you can say what you want. My, repeat my question. 
when Jesus in John chapter 10 verse 34 when he when the Jews were about to stone him if you look from John chapter 10 verse 30, uh, 30 to 33 when they're about to stone him and he said that is it not written in your scriptures that ye are gods did he say that because he was trying to make a claim for godliness and divinity himself or was he or does this context in, context indicate that he was trying to say that the words God were used figuratively not to indicate godliness in, whole, in the whole sense. So Which is it? How does that question yeah. answer my question to because you? Because your questions were had some key terms. The three key terms that you mentioned were the word God, the word Lord and the word Son. That's why we said that before we continue, we have to have a biblical basis, if we just go for the sake of it, of what these words mean. So I'm saying that the words God and Lord and Son are meant for different things in the Bible, which is why you'll find in Matthews it says that blessed be the peacemakers for they shall be That's called the That's all deviation. Of God. We're speaking <laughs> why about is it one because we're speaking. To the claim you, here. You, no, it's not. It doesn't correlate with the claim at all. Okay. If you look in up, your opinion. The, no, no. Look right. up in the etymology. Opinion. Go and look at that. You go and get a concordance. Look up the etymology of the word. Look oh, at the word? parsing. Look at the grammar. What word? The Lord said to my Lord. Sit at my right hand word? till I make your enemies footstool. The word Lord. Adonai Yahweh. Okay. okay. Yeah. So it's it's clear okay, okay. we all know Adonai, Adonai is God. Lord, but in odds about the sons, the sons of God, this realm, and Lord is the spiritual Yahweh, realm, Yahweh. speaking of gods, angels being gods and yeah. uh, uh, angels of countries well, and Lord, everything, that's another debate. That's another debate. I'm not speaking about that now. I asked you a so question, question, particularly from Proverbs 30, yeah. Psalm 110. Okay. What's the question? Who is God's son? I'm telling you, what does the word Sud mean? No, you're not telling David me anything. Is, how about this? You're David telling me, you're asking me a question. Right, David. David. Yeah, David in the, in the Bible is mentioned as God's son. So if David is God's son, are you we saying are in Psalm 110? Right? Oh, we're not God's children. In Psalm 110, you're saying that God, uh, David is God's son. I'm saying that. Huh? You asked me, you didn't say something. You, you said shut that. Shut up, you gremlin, let him talk. You said God. <laughs> you shut up, you gremlin, let him talk. You said God. No, you shut up, let him talk. Okay, Craig. Talk, talk, Craig, listen to me. And what I'm saying to you is the word son, we need to understand what we mean by it. What do you mean by the word son? God's son, his essence. His essence. God's essence. Before the world was created, yes, okay. there was a triune God. Okay. Before. Can you show they me loved the each Bible, other. Please? No, I can't show you okay, in the Bible. So why are you telling me this? Well, I can't, I can't show you right now in the Bible. Why not? But you can, you you can imply this. Claim. Where is it in the Bible? Because, okay. Um, the, okay, let me, let, me, let, me, let me show you. Is it let not me, a fair thing to You've ask? asked me a question. Oh, let me give you the answer. Thank He's God. Good. Thank you, Lord. I've got the page open right here. Okay. You asked the question we was, notes, where, so does it, really miracle, where does it say <laughs> in the Bible that God has got an everlasting Father? Yeah? No, no, I didn't ask that what question. That? What did you say? You just said that before, before, before Jesus, yeah. uh, you said that God was, uh, Jesus is from God's essence. Really? And you said there was a triune yeah. God. Yeah. I want, okay, let me show you. I want the let triune show you. God in the Bible. Okay, yeah. yeah, please. Listen carefully because this is about your salvation. You've got please. to stand in front of God one of day us. and give account please, for your life. Please, All please. of you have got to, yeah. yeah. For unto us a child is born. Yeah. Where, where unto now? us a son is given. Where, where Isaiah chapter 9, yeah. verse 6. Yes. The government will be upon his shoulder. His name will be called Wonderful, Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Of the increase of his government, there will be no end. How can a child be called Everlasting Father? Okay. No problem. Is that your question? <laughs> no, that's my answer. answer. That's that the answer, answer to your question. Right, but you asked the question, didn't you? Yeah. No, no, no. <laughs> No, the Bible's asking you a question. Okay, no God's problem. asking no, you the you question. Just asked me a question. No, no, I read to you yeah. from the Bible. Chapter nine, verse six. Yeah. yeah. Right. First and foremost, chapter nine, verse six, as well as uh, in Isaiah, as well as Isaiah chapter twenty-one and Isaiah chapter forty-two. I believe are all talking about the same person. Who? Well, you, I'm going to tell you who it oh. is. Yeah, it's not Jesus. Yeah, you can smile, you can laugh, but we can. You're going to tell me it's David? <laughs> no, no, I'm going to go further than that. Oh, okay. I'm going to shock you and surprise you and dismay you. Oh, you got, disappoint you. Please don't tell me you're going to tell me it's Muhammad. You, yeah, well, well, let's let's find out yourself. Let's go, let's go. Yeah, you can you can turn to your shoulder. You can you can do that. But actually, we're talking about shoulder. It said that the council will be on his shoulder. Yeah. Now I want to I want to question: Is there the is there something on Jesus' shoulder? Is there any? Right. Yes. Let me answer the question. You asked the question: Is there something on Jesus' shoulder? Yes. What is this on his shoulder? Everything. He holds no, all no, things. No, I don't mean that. No, no. Is I know what you don't mean, but you're now trapped by is your own question. No, let me just ask you. You don't question. like my answer. That's why you don't mean that. Okay. Look. What does it say that he's got? He's got something on his shoulder, yeah? Yes. The whole world. Okay. It doesn't say gravity. The, you're saying the that. nations. No, the Bible says he's that. Got a council on the shoulder. There. The scripture. Of course he's got a council on his shoulder. What is council? In heaven. 
the divine council, you know, the angels, he has God. Got something on his shoulder. Yeah, the, everything. So okay. But everything's Wait, at on, his feet. Hold on, hold on. Your sins, God gives him everything at his feet. On his shoulder. No problem. So your, this, yeah, your this, sin. This, per, this person, so you have to go metaphoric here. I'm saying that. No, this, I don't want to go metaphorically. No, no I'm going literally. Uh, we're seeing Isaiah, right? Chapter 9, verse 6. Yes. I'm saying that if you look at Isaiah chapter 9, verse 6, it talks about this person, yeah? He's got a council on his shoulder. Yeah. And then it's mentioned again in Isaiah that it will be said to him, read, and he'll say, I'm not one of the learned, okay? And then once again, it's mentioned in Isaiah chapter 41, verse 11, that he will be sent to the people of Kedar, which are the Arabs, which is mentioned in Genesis chapter 32, verse 11, that Kedar was one of the sons of Ismail, or Ishmael, yeah, Ishmael, yeah? So all of that indicates to me that this person is not Jesus because Jesus was not sent to the Arabs. Now, unless you can show me with definitive proof that Jesus was sent to the people of Kedar, who are the Arabs, then I have more reason to believe that the only historical figure that fits these, Does this these, these, these prophecies born with is with a, uh, so go ahead version? and show me. No, huh? go does, ahead and show me. Can, can you show me? Born with, uh, with the uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. virgin? Sorry? Does the person born by the virgin? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or, or he, the person that you're saying went to Kedar? It's not mentioned in chapter 42. So, okay. That person cannot okay. be Muhammad. It's not it mentioned. Be. It's not that mentioned. person cannot that's be not Muhammad. Mentioned. Because but we, not I, Muhammad is not born with, with, with respect, not with respect, no. you're a scholar. You're no, a, no, you're no. A, you're I'm, just, I'm a guy that's just, I'm a scholar before I was an idiot. But oh, when I'm asking the questions, when, now when now we're going from the Bible, from the um, verses no, and all that, I become a scholar. Exactly. How comes I've just raised the status in five minutes like well, this? Well, I, I was having a debate with someone over there and I said, is there a Muslim scholar? And they pointed me towards you. Said, they mean that so, this is the guy so, that is going to give you another Yeah, Here we are. I'm speaking to you before. about the sonship in the Godhead. I'm you're saying to me there's yeah. nothing. In Psalm 2, I'm not saying in Psalm 2, I'm saying it says, I will declare the decree yeah. the Lord has said to me, you are my son, Craig. today I have begotten you. Yeah, yeah, How can did. God beget That's a son? David. Beautiful. Same thing now you're going to tell me it's Israel or David. 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 David no, is also begotten. it's not David because David. in Psalm 110, David, David is not eternal. He's not sitting at the right hand David of the Father in heaven. David is the son of God in the Bible. He's not, he's not sitting, that doesn't say, where does it say that? What you just read? Where, no, where does Actually, it say? Get, 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 can you read the verses before and after what you just read? No, read you, you tell me. Just that verse that you just read. read what, Psalm 110? Yeah, read it. Are you talking about the Psalm I've just read? Yes, or yes. Psalm? Just read that one, yeah. Psalm 2. No, 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 no. You are my son. Today I've begotten. Yeah, that's Psalm 2. Yeah, I will it. declare the decree. The Lord has no, said no, no, to no. me. Start from, start from verse 1, please. Who's he talking to? Why do the nation rage? Why do the nations rage and the people plot a vain thing? The kings of the earth set themselves and the rulers take counsel together against the Lord and against His anointed, yeah. saying, "Keep going, keep going, keep going." Okay, let's get it in context. Let us break their bonds in pieces. Read it. Don't That's what me. you're doing now. Just you're trying to break Bible. the bond read the of Bible, Jesus bro. and God yeah. in pieces. Yeah. Yeah. Read the Bible, he who sits in the heavens shall laugh. Mm -hmm. The Lord shall hold them in derision. Then he shall speak to them in his wrath and distress them in his deep displeasure. Yet I have set my king on my holy hill of Zion. Okay. Okay. So who? Okay. Who, which but now we haven't got to. Yeah. Muhammad. yeah. Keep going. Which, Muhammad what, was it? Muhammad. Jesus, well, well, Jesus was a king. Jesus, huh? That's a new one for me. Jesus, keep going. He was, he was crowned a king Muhammad, of the Jews. Please, keep going. I will declare the decree. The Lord has said to me, you are my son. Today I have begotten you. Ask of me. I will give you the nations for your inheritance. Yeah, yeah. Did Who's David that? get the nations? Yes. That's All right. the nations on that's, the planet. That's what, that's what God said to him. He didn't get South reading. Africa. Reading, he didn't get Australia. He didn't no, get America. No, no, no. He didn't even get Libya. Alexander the Great, maybe. Are you sure no, you don't no, want to claim Alexander? Yeah, I've read the book. Read it. Uh, in context there. <laughs> it's going to ask you a question now. It's going to say, Now therefore be wise, O kings. Mm -hmm. Be instructed, you judges of the earth. Serve the Lord with fear and rejoice with trembling. Kiss the sun, lest he be angry and you perish in the way. When his wrath is kindled but a little, blessed are those who put their trust in him. You know what I think? Yeah. You know what he's thinking Just now? Just keep reading. He's thinking, I wish I never asked him to read that. Why? Yeah. Yeah. Because there's no ways that can be David. Why? Because how did David get the nations? Wait, hold on, hold on. Okay, let's look well, at it logically. Jesus was the king of Zion. Yes. 
He is the king of Zion. He's the eschatological <laughs> king of Zion. But he's gonna, but he's gonna he say David like, is the king of he Zion. He was not a king of. He was not king of Israel, or he, he was not a king of. Um, Even this guy. Uh, <laughs> Arabia. He was not a king of Arabia. Let us break their bonds in pieces and cast their cords away from us. Jesus is the eschatological king of the world. Okay, he's the king of kings. He's the Lord of lords, right? Yeah, yeah. So now. In that, in that uh, scripture, you had this uh, question. Kiss the son, lest he be angry and you perish in the way. Yeah. What does God mean by that? Okay, let me tell you what he means by that. Does he mean kiss David? What is eschatological? Yeah, it means in the afterlife. He doesn't know his Bible. Okay. So he's going to be king in the afterlife. Like you, your Mahdi for us no, is, is, all I, all is, all is Satan. Do, all I, and for all us, I want you, you to do. Forget about me. But no, 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 no let's no, answer that question. Okay, forget, I'm not gonna You're on camera. Me. Let's I'm, answer I'm, that I'm, question. I'm Kiss the sun unless he be angry pray, and you perish pray. in the all way. What I'm going to say to you is don't go to me. Go to your own scholars. Listen, please, I beg you. Yeah? I've been to the scholars. Oh, no, you, you know what the scholars said? Oh, no, Trust me. These Trust are me. the best yeah. scholars. Yeah. Yeah. We. I've got scholars. Michael Brown. Michael Brown. No, he's yeah, he's, he's, a, he's a contemporary, bro. He's a he's a debate of the right. He's a hillbilly, bro. He's a hillbilly. Uh, uh, so Dr. Michael Brown. He's a hillbilly. What about no, no, Dr. No, no, John no, no. MacArthur? <laughs> These are the best no, scholars. No, 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 no. I'm talking about your go go, go go to John Calvin. Even. Uh, we don't have a hadiths. Calvin. We don't have a hadiths. Kiss the sun, lest he be angry. Here. So now, favor, instead of actually saying to us, he's going to answer the question. Now he's telling me to go to the scholars. Kiss the sun, unless you be angry and you perish in the way. You're telling me. That that you're, you think this is talk about Jesus Christ? JC, do you get this? Okay, fine. It no says here, kiss okay. the son, okay, yeah. lest he be no angry. Problem. No problem. So, uh, for the sake of argument, okay. Give it to him. No problem, give it to him. Give it to him. It's Jesus. No I... no. No. <laughs> okay. Give it to him, but then no, no you end up in hell because no, no, you're letting no, no, this no, man no, deceive no, you. No, no problem. Okay, fine. No problem. You can, if you like that, do you like that one? So yeah? does the Lord say to my Lord, no, do does like that, that, is that David? Do you like that one? Are you claiming on camera, like the Lord says to my Lord, Great. is Great. God to David? Well, well, you have to huh? regard, you oh, have to no, regard the you're son. Not, you're not responding to that question. Okay, let, 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 let me respond. The Lord yeah. said to my Lord, who is that? Let me respond, Craig. Yeah? Okay, Craig. You're not going to respond. You're a nice guy. You're not no, going to no, no, respond. Let me respond to the guy. Let me respond to the guy. Give me a chance to respond to the man. <laughs> flattery flattery no, 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 no. is evil. Okay, evil, evil, evil. Listen, <laughs> be quiet, Craig. Here's what I'm going to say to you. No, no, no. Listen. Don't say to him. Say to, say to the psalmist. Yes. Say to da David. Yeah, David. Say it but look, look, because look. he's hey. reading from... David wrote uh, the psalm. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, fine. Craig, listen to me carefully. Let's just say for the sake of argument, it's talking about Jesus. No problem. We agree. Okay. Right. It doesn't mention anything about Jesus. It's talking about King, the, the exegetes of the past, a Jewish and Christian say that this is talking about David. But no, 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 they don't. Okay, maybe. No, That's a lie. Okay, That's not true. Okay, no, check it yourself. Check well, Jesus it. said it. Jesus said, no Jesus okay, says said, okay. in the New Testament, All right, you're right. how can you yeah. say it's David? Yeah, okay, fine. Yeah, right? Yeah, it could be, yeah. yeah. No, no, it right, could yeah. be. I can show you. No, no, show me after. No, problem. no, no, no. no, no. Because now you're, now, you're, now, you're, now you're trying to be dismissive. I'm, 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 I'm You've been caught out. Sahih Bukhari. You've been caught out on camera. Say, no yes, Sahih Bukhari can tell lie, but the Bible writer, they don't speak lie. Exactly. He's been busted. I'm busted. Okay, you win. You, uh, Thank so you. Talking about Jesus. Yes, yeah? oh, no, talking no, about Jesus. Yes, yes. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, now, with that level of ambiguity, that's talking about Jesus. Yeah. Okay. Does it, it mentions a different geographic location, Zion. Yeah. It talks about King, Jesus, Prince of Peace, not King right. of anything. Okay. So. No, no, anyway, no problem. It's Jesus. Now, I want you now to apply the same kind of, you know, exegetical ingenuity. Let's go to chapter forty-two, verse eleven. Of what? Isaiah. No, Isaiah. Let's read so. it together. And let's read it. Let's let's start from verse 1 all the way to verse 12. And you tell me if this is talking about Jesus, please. Okay. And let's be fair. Can I just ask you a question? So you are saying on camera yeah. for the world to see yeah. that Psalm 110 is about Jesus. I'm saying that let's go for it. No problem. If that's what you want to believe. No, no, no. You, but you, it's not 110. You said, no, um, you're moving. One you're one just two, about one, to move one, on to one, another two. debate, another scripture. I'm so let's yeah, finish this one by first. Way, by the way, can I just say something? I do actually believe on a, on a serious note. I believe the Old Testament does foretell Jesus Christ. Of course it and, does. And, and do you know why? We, don't, we as Muslims don't believe that Jesus is a false person. We believe that he's a Messiah, that he's going to come after Moses and that we believe that he was actually foretold by Moses. 
We do believe in all that. And, yeah. I, and I, think, I think there is a case to be made that in the Old Testament there are certain things, okay, which clearly, and Psalms is a good place. I'm not but you're going to pick and choose them? No, 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 we don't get to cho pick and choose them. We're, we're, you? No, I'm no, saying no, you, no, not Muslims. I'm saying you pick no, and choose well, which ones you want to believe, do you believe in are for Jesus. Do you believe in yes, okay, absolutely. So you're an evangelical, would you say that? Yeah. Okay. No, I wouldn't well, like to be so, framed, so, so, so but what? yeah. Do you want me to go to a Pope? You, is that what it is? <laughs> what? You are an evangelical that believes in sol sola scriptura, and yet you're telling me that I have to be under an authority of. Some now sort. you're on another subject. No, no. But when are we going to speak what? about no, God's no, no. son? I'm saying Proverbs chapter thirty, no, no. Psalm two, Craig, Psalm one hundred and ten, all speaking about what? the son, and now you're, you are on another planet. All over the I once saw someone stand in front no, of a truck, and this truck skidded. Craig, it talking. makes more noise That's than your brakes right now. No, come on. It's not an analogy. You are deviating off the question. If I am not allowed to interpret the Bible for myself then what you're saying is the, you're saying do I get to choose of course I get to interpret just like you do right yeah but you're, okay, you're saying okay, to me I must speak to my scholars oh, fine, fine, fine. you must speak to the same I'm, scholars yeah, no problem I did it like, when I go and check the, oh, it's Psalms 102 they say it's uh, David no let's move on Psalm 110 uh, yeah okay fine it's, uh, which, which scholar today, told you that it's David I, I think all of them actually no I think no of, uh, that's not true biblical scholars no I, I you're, li you're, you're lying now because Jesus no, himself you, we're speaking about Jesus. Zion, yeah? okay, we're speaking about Jesus, right? Yeah. All right? We're speaking about Jesus being God's son. Yes, and you're yeah, saying that scholars, the pre -modern, the pre -modern you are saying that scholars say scholars, that, that Jesus is not in Psalm 110. Yeah, they're saying it's, it's 17 David. times Psalm 110 is quoted no in the New Testament. I'm saying even if we go no, 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 it's not. That, don't dismiss it. Okay, I'm not because you're it. wanting to move on to you're another right. subject you're right. because you it's know Jesus. that Jesus okay. said. How can it be it's David? Jesus. Okay. Jesus said it. Okay. Yes. okay. What I'm saying okay. is. Okay. He's acknowledging I'm on the world cameras yes, I, that yeah. Jesus is in no Psalm problem. 110. I got a problem That's right. Jesus. Okay. That's right. What I'm saying is it doesn't do anything. What I'm saying is that. What do you mean it doesn't okay, do anything? Listen, listen carefully, Craig. <laughs> How can you say God says to God doesn't mean anything? Craig. Your whole religion is faulty. Okay, now That's now all a deceit. Why does that have a, dis a religion? Because if God has got a God that he's speaking to, saying, sit here no, at my right hand, already, then Muhammad was lying. I already explained to you what the word God means. No, you'd I, asked I me a question Jesus, and I you said, Jesus, you've got... Jesus. Jesus said it himself. It like Yahweh God's says to Adonai. How, how never, can Yahweh never, say to Adonai? You've never responded to this, my friend. How can Proverbs 30 say, I'm kiss asking, the sun? You've never responded to this. I said to you that in John chapter 10, verse 34, when Jesus says... But that's off the it, subject now. How is it not? How is talking about the word God itself? Because what you keep doing in front of the camera, you keep right, on saying, look, look, I'll give honestly, you that, I'll give you that. No, I'm problem. going to John 10, but I'm just John saying, 10, 34, you can't dismiss what I've just said to you. Does it not say in the scriptures, ye are gods, you guys, are you a god? No, Jesus explained Craig. Pharisees and Sadducees. Are you a God? Before your father Abraham, I you am. Are you a God? Before your father stop, Abraham, stop, stop. I am. Are you a God? So they understood. Are you they a God? understood Jesus. Are you a God? What Jesus is talking about. Are you for. a God? Are you, let's read this in context. Yes. You're saying here, you wanted me to read what? John 10, uh, John 10 34. John 10 34. Jesus answers them and says, but why? What is he answering? Just read the goddamn book. Man. Whoa, 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 whoa! <laughs> You've just blasphemed. You've blasphemed your own God. Just read the. Are book. you talking about read Allah? Book. Read the book. Hey, read is no book. one going to say anything to this read man? He's just blasphemed. He's just blasphemed. Okay, I'm blasphemed. Read. Blasphemed your own I'm God, not I'm my God. I'm a heathen. I'm a heathen. Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. Read it. You know what? Listen to this. This is good. Yet again, another scripture is now going to defeat you. Because this is God. This isn't some author, some apostle. This is God revealing his word to you. You're going to leave because you're going to run away. You've asked me to read a scripture. Now you're going to run. Let me read the scripture. Let me read the scripture. No, if you want to go, go. If you're scared, hear the scripture. Hear the scripture. All right. You want me to read the scripture? Let me read the scripture. Then the this Jews. This is not Sahih Muslim, which is me. Uncle. This is Bible. Uncle. This is, this is the word of God. Listen to this. This is the word of God. Then and the Jews. Word of God are not, not me. Listen, 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 listen to this. Then the Jews took up stones again to stone him. Yes. Jesus answered them, Many good works I have yes. shown you from my Father. Yes. For which of those works do you stone me? Uh -huh. The Jews answered him, saying, For a good work we do not stone you. But for blasphemy, because you being a man, make yourself God. God. Jesus answered them, yeah. is it not written in your law? Yeah. I said, you are gods. If he called them gods to whom the word of God came and the scripture cannot be broken. 
in italics. Do you say of him whom the Father sanctified and sent into the world, you are blaspheming because I said I am the Son of God. Mm -hmm. If I do not do the works of my Father, do not believe me. But if I do, mm -hmm. though you do not believe me, believe the works that you may know and believe that the Father is in me and I in him. Beautiful. Amen. Okay, Amen. Okay. That's okay. it. So what Amen. That that? Yes. What? Let me finish. Yes. Therefore, yeah. they sought again to seize him, but he escaped out of their hands. Beautiful. So what did he say? He said, is it not mentioned in your scriptures that you are gods? Are you a god? But why is it mentioned in your scriptures according to Jesus that you are a god? Because there will be a time. It's mentioned with the no, no, small no, no, answer d. My question. No, no, no. Small d. God. God with the small d. Here's the question. Answer There's the question. a question. Answer the question. Whom the word of God came, yeah, yeah. the big G, yeah, yeah. and the small G, yeah. do I not say you are God? Okay, yeah. it, so now, no so now hang on, says, God. earlier on when we were speaking, yeah. you said to me, uh, well, there are, because it's in the Bible. No, no, and you, English, you, you can't English, say the Bible's wrong. If you look up the, the passing and the etymology no, 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 no. of Go these on, words, words, and you look in the Old Testament and you look in the Hebrew, and just the same as you said to me, define God, define God. Whatever is hindering you, God. No Jesus, Jesus is not claiming he's one of us. He's Capital separate D. from us. You have not answered my question. Because I've answered it. I've read the rest of the verse. No, no, my question was clear. My question was, are you a God? No. Okay. Does Jesus not say that is it not mentioned in your scriptures that you are God? Yes. Okay. Now, what does that indicate? That the word God means divine and holy, godly? Or does it mean, does it indicate that it means not divine? No, because these are the gods. People make for themselves That's gods. Right. They make for themselves idols God. and no, sacrifices. No, no, no. You're You're, you, you, you can, you can define it. Yeah, but he's right. You can okay. define it like that. The thing is, in there the you context, have you've have taken it. one sentence of this scripture out of context. Why? They wanted to kill you're, Jesus. You're, you're, they wanted, no, hang on a second. Yeah, yeah. Right. They wanted to stone him so we're, for we're blaspheming. So what was Craig, the blaspheming? Craig, Craig, listen. Yeah. They were about to kill him. Yeah? Yeah. They're about to stone for blaspheming. Correct, yeah? Because they for were claiming that he's God. Yeah, they no. He said that's what their claim was. Then he res, he retorted. Jesus retorted and responded. He said, Is it not mentioned in your scriptures that you are gods? Now, if he's saying, Is it not mentioned in your scriptures that you are gods, is that a response that someone who is coming to tell the whole world that he's God would say? Like for example, if Jesus' mission was to tell us all that he is God and part of a trinity, mm -hmm. then surely this would be the perfect opportunity to say, actually, I am a God. I'm special. Why is he now lying, if, if, if it is indeed uh, not what he meant, why is he now lying and saying that is it not mentioned in your scriptures that you are God in order to escape the punishment? Or is he scared of the punishment? So it's now God scared of the Jews, that he would take him and trap him and hurt him and beat him. What kind of God is that? So here the problem is, Craig, is that you are stuck because you started not off at all. you are stuck you, you are stuck because you started off by coming to me and you, 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 you came up and you came and you started talking about who was God and son and what I'm saying to you is that Jesus in the Bible that you read today himself is saying that is it not mentioned that you are God meaning these words need to be understood in their context he's telling you that you're out of context if he was trying to say that he was God my simple question is why did he not say when they were about to kill him and they said that they accused him of being God, that it's true, yes, I am a God. Yes, I'm, a, I'm part of the Trinity. And you don't need to say. No, 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 no
a okay. man, how okay. can you answer okay. a man before I, he speaks? I'm a, I'm a you are actually answering. Bring, so today, you stood here on your, camera, here you blasphemed you. God. Okay, I'm a okay. blasphemer. I'm already a heathen to you, bro. Why are you I'm pretending like I'm a... You blasphemed you your God, not my God. You believe I'm going to hell You didn't say the name Jesus, you blasphemed God. You said the words... Something damn. So therefore, I have lost so much respect for you. So yeah, let's get this scripture in context, okay? Many good works I have shown you. Who my father, for which of those do you stone me? So how can Jesus call himself father? How can Jesus call it? How can Jesus call the father, father? I'm coming to that. According to Muhammad and his hadith, Muslims are going in hell. The Jews answered and said to him, For a good work we do not stone you, but for blasphemy we stone you. And Jesus answers their question saying, You're saying that I'm blasphemy. Are you saying the son is the father? Of course the son is the father. Okay, that's, that is heresy according to all For unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, and the government will be upon his shoulder, and his name will be called Wonderful, Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. How can a child be called Everlasting Father? Muhammad, Muhammad, how can a child be called Everlasting okay. Father? Yeah. Muhammad, how can a child be called okay, Everlasting ask, Father? Ask, okay. According to all schools of thought in Christianity, the Father is not the Son. Just ah. let me and ah. his name will be called Wonderful ah. Counselor, ah. Mighty God. And they don't believe on Bible. I'm done with you. I'm done with you. Then those school of thought, they don't believe on Bible. I'm done you're telling me, you're telling me about the scholars. Okay, tell me, tell me about the scholars. Tell me about the scholars. He's your, speaking for himself. He doesn't need a, a, a no, choir no, behind no, 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 I'm getting knowledge you of you. No, here's your problem. Your man. problem is you don't even know your own creedal positions. Uh, Constantinople Creed, the Nicene Creed, the Athena Just let me speak, man. Uh, 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 I'm not interested. You, I'm not interested. I'm not interested. Yeah, yeah. yeah I'm fine. You Finish. You Walk away. Walk away. Okay. You haven't answered one question I've asked you. I've asked you the question about the Bible. You're now speaking about the Nicene Creed. Talk about the Bible. Yeah, the Bible is here. The Bible is here. But the scriptures are here. I don't, I don't, I don't need. These scriptures are not the Nicene Creed. These scriptures are here. Answer the scripture. You, Answer the you scripture. Are, you you this is yourself. not Sahih Muslim. Okay. This is not oh, okay. Sahih Bukhari. Please, please, tone down because your voice a bit. Hello. Every, every just book a bit. Just in a Islam bit. Just a bit. is a deception. Just three and four instead of seven. It's a deception. It's a deception. Every book in Islam is a deception. Yeah, Craig, with all due respect, you don't, know your own, you don't know your own religion. Well, I do, and you so haven't been able to answer it. You haven't defended one religion question religion that I've asked because you. Because no scholar worth their salt from all of the church fathers, except for the modalists, by the way, modalists who believe in modalities. I know what modalism is, yeah. I, okay, except for, mo except for modalists, no one says the son is the father. That's a heresy. You're talking to me about blaspheming. All Christians but, believe no, it. Yes. Believe it. All, all Christians. No, no, no. The father, the son, okay, and the spirit is one. Let me get no, 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 no. It's no, no. the same all essence. essence. Yeah. No, no. Augustine, in his book, uh, De Tra Trinitari Trinitatis, yeah. Augustine means who nothing care? to me. Who cares for that? Here's the Bible. I'm not, I'm not cared about that. No, no, no. Who cares about that? You care about the Quran. You care about the Hadith. No, we damn care for I'm not, I'm not, I'm not cared about what they say. I'm here to debate with you, the Son so, so, of God. So you have to you haven't debate. answered one favor, question that I've debate. asked you. This is our authority. Debate this topic. Yeah. This is our authority. Okay. That's the only. Debate this topic. That's the only authority. Go to your Catholic friends. Go to your Eastern Orthodox friends. Go to your Protestant friends and debate it with them first. No, 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 no. We don't need to. Yeah. We as a friend, we agree. We don't need. We agree. We absolutely. We, agree. Have, we, have we agree with the Bible. We have what you're saying, you what you're saying is not only is it fallacious. Yeah. What you're saying, yeah. Yeah. you're not you're not comporting no, no. logic with what no, the Bible no says. No so this is the revealed no, word of God no, no. to us, fine. but it's also let's, the revealed word of God let, to you because it says in the Quran, if we quote you from the Torah, you must listen. But you're not listening. Why don't Why don't we just not talk over each other? Because I, I'll God, tell you what. Thank God this is not written by Sahih Muslim yeah, sure. or Sahih Muhammad. Muhammad. Sahih Muhammad. Sahih Muhammad. Sahih Muhammad. But let's go. Let's go to. Let's go to the original question. Thank God we, we believe. We, we all believe on this Bible. We believe on this Bible. 
not written by Sahih Bukhari and Sahih Muslim or Tirmidhi or this and that. We're going to have a okay, one minute debate. Yeah. One minute. You got, you got one minute and it starts now. You go first. So the question was, the Lord said to my Lord, sit at my right hand till I make your enemies your footstool. The Lord shall send the rod of your strength out of Zion, rule in the midst of your enemies. Your people shall be volunteers in the day of your power. Here it comes. In the beauties of holiness from the womb of the morning, you have the dew of your youth. The Lord has sworn and will not relent. You are a priest forever, according to the order of Melchizedek, who lived forever. Then they swap places. The same Lord that says, the Lord said to my Lord, says, Now the Lord is at your right hand. He shall execute kings in the day of his wrath. He shall judge amongst the nations. He shall fill the places with dead bodies. He shall execute the heads of many countries. He shall drink of the brook by the wayside. Therefore, he shall lift up the head. Who is that? Who are those two? I'm, I'm finished. Okay. okay. That's my question. Who is that? Okay, no problem. If we say for the sake of argument that it's Jesus Christ. Even you're, if we say... Hold on. You're, yeah, yeah, go ahead. Even if we say for the sake of argument that it's Jesus Christ, yeah, although, although you'll find, if you go to the old the, 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 the old Jewish countries, let's talk about David, yeah? And we've already had this discussion. No. Okay, okay sorry. It's my sorry. time, yeah? Sorry. But let's say for the sake of argument it's Jesus Christ. It doesn't say here anywhere that he'll be co-equal and co-eternal with the Father. That's number one, which is the tri Trinitarian understanding. Number one. Number two is, I, we already spoke about this. The word God, Lord and Son have very specific connotations and denotations. In John chapter number 10, verse 34, Jesus himself, when he was about to be killed, he said, is it not mentioned in your scriptures that ye are gods, that you are gods? Now, my point is, why if Jesus is meant to proclaim that he is God and part of the Trinity, would that not have been the most opportune time to tell everyone that that was the case? And if not, why didn't he? Was it fear or what was it? Okay, so you have question. Go. So you've just said that it says nowhere that Jesus is co-eternal with the Father. Here in the psalm, the words that I've just read to you, I don't know if you want me to read them again. Here they sit next to each other. Psalm 2, kiss the son. Proverbs 30, who is, who is, who is he and what is his son's name? All of these questions speak about the sonship of God. Then I read you Isaiah chapter 9. For unto us a child is born, and his name will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace, of the increase of his government. That's not an earthly government, that is a heavenly government. Upon the throne of David, upon the throne of David and over his kingdom, to order it and establish it with justice, judgment and justice. Jesus descends from David on the fatherly side. He is the Messiah, clearly, but he's also the Son of God. The question to you is about the Son of God. Okay. So I've just said to you already, first of all, that, that what you've just read doesn't say co-equal or co-eternal. Just because you're sitting on the right hand of God doesn't mean that you are co-eternal with him. That's not an actual intelligence. What? And even if you say that it is, Melchizedek was uh, co uh, pre eternal No, Mel Melchizedek didn't say it. Sorry, I, I beg your pardon. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Yeah? Any interruptions? So, pause. Yeah. So what I'm saying to you now, Melchizedek, who you mentioned already, he himself, who the majority of scholars say is not Jesus Christ, is described with pre-eternality. So you'd have to say that he's a God as well, if that's your only criterion. My point is that co-equal, co-eternal is a triune formulation. With that formulation, what you've just said there has got nothing to do with it. I'm willing to concede that there are some things in the Old Testament, you can even say this if you like, no problem, that talk about Jesus coming in the future. I'm not a Jew here. I believe Jesus Christ is a Messiah and that he's a son of God. Uh, sorry, stuff Allah. He's not a son of God, <laughs> messenger of God. However, having said that, you know, as I said, right now, my point is in John chapter 10, verse 34, what, why did Jesus not take this opportunity? I'm asking for the fourth time to say that he is full God. Okay. Yeah. So, so, you, so you, you're saying that um, for the sake of this argument, you're prepared to concede that Psalm 110 is speaking about Jesus. And the next sentence you say, um, it, it, it can't be, he can't be co-eternal because if it was, Melchizedek would be sitting at the right hand of the Father. So I've been here 
You're speaking about John chapter 10. I've been here now for half an hour, losing my voice, because we're speaking about Psalm 110, and they sit next to each other, and they swap places. Now, you can speak to any scholar in the world, Christian, Muslim, or Jew. It is clear from the scripture that they swap places. Jesus quoted the scripture. It's in Hebrews. It's in Matthew. They all refer to the scripture. They all refer to the scripture talking about Jesus. Jesus actually says this talking about me. Okay. I've already I'm said I'm the father of one, right? Yes. My time. My time. Huh? I've already said no problem. I my point was not that it should be Melchizedek. I didn't say that. I said that if that was your only criterion for godliness, then Melchizedek would also fit that criterion. So then you have more than three gods now, in reality, which you do have, Melchizedek will be the fourth. What I'm saying to you, <laughs> what, what I'm saying to you is that co-eternality and co-equality is not mentioned in that verse. So it's a waste of my time and everyone's time. What is mentioned in Ch John chapter 10, verse 34, is that Jesus, when he had the opportunity to say, I am God, I am part of the Trinity, which you say is part of my salvation, and everyone here, all the Muslim salvation, that I will be in the hellfire forever if I don't believe in this. Jesus was, according to you, reluctant to even say this word when he was quizzed by the Jews. I, if, if on the day of judgment you're right, I'll say, why is it that even in the scriptures of the Christians, Jesus is not making it clear? How could I be in the hellfire forever for something that your alleged God can't even make clear? Good point. You will not say that to God. You will actually lie prostrate in front of God and you will shake and you will fear and you will tremble and you won't answer him back. You won't speak to Almighty God like that and throw back his own scripture in his face. Again, again, before we go to John chapter 10, again, it is a co-eternal thing. You've seen from Isaiah chapter 9 that it's a child that is born and that child is called Everlasting Father, Wonderful, Counselor. Jesus says, I am. He says, if you've seen me, you've seen the Father. Before Abraham was, I am. You've got all these scriptures. These aren't notes. This is a pattern of the Trinity in the Old Testament. And this is a pattern of the Trinity in the New Testament. We don't have one, one scripture that might point towards Muhammad in the Old Testament. We are full. We've got 300 scriptures, all speaking about the triune God. So when... You said that there's not Are you sure that scripture? I had a minute there? You yeah. had a minute. Well, you said there's not one scripture that's mentioned in Muhammad in the Old Testament. I've already explained to you that in chapter 42 of Isaiah, in verse 11, it mentions throughout the chapter that there's going to be a prophet that's going to be sent to all of the nations and that he'll be sent specifically to the people of Kedar. And that in Genesis chapter number 32, Kedar is one of the sons of Is Ishmael, who is one of the sons of Abraham, and he is the father of the Arabs, no biblical exegete that I know has anything to say about that. My question to you is, if it's not talking about Muhammad, what other prophet came to the Arabs, okay, what other prophet came to the Arabs to, to, uh, to preach a message to all of the nations aside from Muhammad? Maybe it's and if it was Jesus, and if it was Jesus, Maybe it's if, it was Je if, it, if it was Jesus, if it was, Je it couldn't have been Ishmael because it's talking about people of Kedar, which are Ishmael's grandchildren. If I'm saying now, if the people of, unless you went back in time in a time machine. But now my question is, which, and if it was Jesus, why then, why is Jesus going to go to Ab Arabian Peninsula? Who is it talking about if not Muhammad in Isaiah 42, 11? And you haven't, I mentioned the question, go. Okay, summing up now, yeah? Do you yeah, want to make ahead. this the last round? Yeah, go ahead. Summing up. I, I haven't even started. No, I'm I haven't even started. You're, 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 you're jumping around scriptures. You're in John 10, Isaiah 42. All I asked, yeah, yeah. All I asked is um, all these scriptures pointing towards God having a son clearly prove that God has a son. One begotten son. Not many sons. There's not many gods. There's not. Um, we are not gods as we're standing here. No one's making that claim. Jesus is accused of blasphemy. They pick up stones. They want to kill him. Greatly is his name glorified because he rose. He didn't die like us. He didn't go, he didn't go into the grave and stay there. He's the risen Lord, the one way of getting to heaven. You have no other way of getting to heaven. There's no other way of salvation. Yeah. And you're not prepared to hear it because of your preconceptions. I haven't got preconceptions. I read the Quran. I read the Quran. I read the, uh, my father's Jewish, by the way. 
So I was brought up uh, in the in the Jewish faith, although he was an atheist. Time's up. Uh, your anecdote means nothing to me with all due respect. All I'm saying to you right now, you're, you're starting to talk about anecdotes when you're stuck with the evidence. I'm saying to you now, Which right anecdote? now, no, the evidence I've just mentioned, you said, give me, there's nothing, you said there's not one verse in the one. Old Testament that points to Muhammad. I mentioned to you, Isaiah chapter 42, verse 11, that a prophet will come and he will come to the Arabs, to the people of Kedar. Jesus didn't come to the people of Kedar. I asked you to bring me one other person who came to the Arabs, aside from Muhammad, and who preached to the nations, and who was a prophet, or at least was claimed to be a prophet. If you cannot give me one other name, apart from Muhammad, then your, your, your silence will be acquiescence here. You couldn't actually even answer properly why Jesus in chapter 10, verse 34 of John, couldn't clearly say, I am God, or couldn't clearly say that he's part of a trinity. He in fact said that you are gods in the scriptures. So trying to insinuate his own uh, innocence from that claim. Answer, who is it talking about in Isaiah 42, 11? Okay, so let's read Isaiah 42, 11. Let the wilderness and its cities lift up their voice. The villages that Kedar inhabits. Let the inhabits, inhabitants of Selah sing. Let them shout from the top of the mountains. Let them give glory to the Lord and declare his praise in the coastlands. The Lord shall go forth like a mighty man. He mm, shall stir man. up his zeal like a man of war. He shall cry out, yes, shout out. Mm. He shall prevail against his enemies. Mm. That's people of Kedar lifting up their hands and worshipping God. Doesn't speak about a prophet going out there. We don't worship the prophet. Huh? No, no, this you is, do. he's Larry, just said you to do. me. You, you actually do. You do. Uh, sing to, yeah. I hope you paused when you interrupted. Sing to the Lord a new song and his praise for the ends of the earth. So, yeah. And, and as far as uh, John 10 goes, I think we've proven beyond any, um, uh, beyond any doubt, John 10, that Jesus was going to be stoned for blasphemy because he claimed that he was God. It doesn't, it doesn't matter what he said about okay. God. Uh, Jesus was going to be stoned because the Jews thought he was blaspheming. And then he clarified the matter and he was no longer going to be stoned. So uh -huh. the Excuse me. Sorry. So the point is that Jesus responded in a manner to indicate the lack of his divinity, not in a manner which indicates that he's divine, number one. Number two, you said it's not talking about a prophet. You haven't clearly read the Bible yourself. You've got all these notes. You said yourself what well, they're not notes. Because in the beginning of uh, Isaiah chapter 42 verse 1, it clearly talks about a prophet that's going to come to all the nations, a man. Uh, you have to read your Bible. You have to read your Bible. You have to know your creed. You should have come to Speaker's Corner if you haven't done the work research. And now you're telling me that Jesus Christ, what, what enemy did he prevail over? According to you, he was killed and, destroy, and destroyed on the crucifix. crucifix. He was crucified, killed. Your God was killed. So what are you talking about? That, who did he prevail over? This, this prophecy, and you still haven't told us, what prophet came to the people of Kedar, the Arabs, apart from Muhammad? One prophet. Give me one person. Does it say Muhammad's name? No. no. Is Muhammad mentioned no, no, in the no, Old no. Testament? No. no, no. So we clearly have no mention of Muhammad in the Old Testament. So um, we we go back now to um, John John chapter ten. Um, he says, "My sheep hear my voice, and I know them, and they follow me, and I give them eternal life." Amen. How can a man, a prophet, give eternal life to people? Then it goes on, and he says, "My Father, who has given them to me, mm -hmm. so the Father gives." Asif and myself to Jesus. We are saved because he gave us Amen. to Jesus. Amen. And what does he say? I and my father are one. Yes. Then the Jews took up stones again to stone him. Mm -hmm. Jesus answered them. It's quite, a, it's quite a stretch what you're saying. They sought to seize him. They didn't say, okay, you can go because we're gods. They didn't say that. And you've misrepresented the word of God by that. What they actually said was, they sought again to seize him, but he escaped out of their hand. All right. Um, I finished the sentence. A little bit of grace won't go astray. I'll let him finish the sentence. Go ahead. You see, now he said, where does it say by name? But when he was mentioning for Jesus in Psalms, he didn't mention no name. name. You see, he has one side. He does exactly what he wants. I did mention a name. No, you didn't. Excuse me. The name of Jesus. Yahweh Adonai. No, no, no. Now you're, you're cutting my time. You're cutting my time. You, you can't even stick to your word as a man. You can't even stick to your word as a man. What kind of a man are you? No, this is the point. This is my time now. What I'm saying to you is that you've, you've mixed the criteria. You've changed the goalposts. 
Now when I brought you and I asked you one question, you said that there's not one place in the Old Testament that mentions Muhammad or, 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 or even indicates to him. I said that, look at uh, Isaiah 42, 11. I said, what other prophet came to the people of Qaeda, the Arab people, aside from Muhammad that fulfills that criterion? You had no answer for that question. And then you said that it's not mentioned by name. But if that's the criterion, then none of the so-called prophecies, none of them, of the Old Testament apply to Jesus. Because no one prophecy of the Old Testament mentions his name, unless you want to show me that. So why do you apply one set of standards for your prophecies of Jesus Christ using ambiguous uh, Jesus and another for Muhammad? Tell me why. No, it's exegesis. It's not eisegesis. This is exegesis. See, I said to you that Muhammad's name is not mentioned in the Old Testament, which we know to be true. Which other, which other uh, life can you point to that was born of God, born of a virgin, prophesied? So the prophecies in the Old Testament are clearly pointing to Yeshua, to Jesus. It's clear. There's no refutation. And there's no scholars that you can uh, announce saying the majority of scholars say that. That is again another lie. Not the majority of scholars would ever say that God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit are one. Because that's what Christians believe in. And that's what God is trying to reveal to you. You're, 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 you're blinded by, the, you're blinded by um, uh, what you've been listened to. Here, Hebrews chapter 1. Um, we cite, he cites two psalms. He cites three psalms. Psalm 2, you are my son, today I have begotten you. And again, I will be to him a father. And now I go again, same question. There's two things, there's no answer, and this is the last, your, your last chance. If, number one, Jesus, two questions. If Jesus Christ wanted to tell us that he was an equal part, an equal personality of the Trinity, then why, when he was about to be stoned, did he deflect that by retorting that is it not mentioned in your scriptures in John 10, 34, that ye are, ye are gods, number one. Number two, who else apart from Muhammad came, sallallahu alaihi wasallam, who came to the people, the Arabs, who was a prophet, who prevailed against his enemies, who uh, is mentioned, all those things that are mentioned in the Bible. Who else fulfilled that criteria apart from Muhammad? It couldn't have been Ismail, as the man said, because he came before Qaeda. It couldn't have been Jesus because he was not sent to the people of Qaeda. So give me one name of a person who was sent to the Arabs, who was a prophet, and who had a message which was universal for all the people. Just one name. Okay, let's, let's, okay. let's, let's round you it out. This is the last, this is the last one. Okay, you said final time you're going to ask him the question. Please open your ears and listen. For the final time, I'll give you the answer. Yeah. Jesus was going to be blasphemed. Jesus was going to be stoned because he made the claim, I and the Father are one. You can't take one sentence out of a scripture and use it out of context to say to me that he is not the Father's son. In Hebrews, chapter 1 in Hebrews, we go through 2 Samuel 7, 14. You are my son, today I have begotten you. This is Old Testament scriptures that Christ used on the road to Emmaus to convince his disciples. He didn't do miracles. He didn't call fire out from heaven. He used the scriptures, Old Testament scriptures, to prove that he was God. This is the risen Jesus, right? Psalm 104, he makes his angels spirits and his ministers flaming fire. Psalm 102, um, uh, and they will be changed, but you are the same, for your years will fail. And then Psalm 110. All right, so okay, I asked him time even and time, and, I, and here I'm going to conclude. Yeah. Because here we've already explained to him that look, if we're going to go to the hellfire forever, according to Christians, and Jesus Christ has been asked directly in the Bible, accused of blasphemy, that he is God, and he says, no, it's not mentioned in your Bible, in your scriptures, in John 10, 10 to 34, that ye are gods. So he's clearly not saying, yes, I am a God. So now I've got an excuse. I can say that even in the Bible, Jesus is not making it clear. <laughs> so why would I be burnt forever, like so much burnt and uh, tortured, because of something that Jesus, according to your scriptures, was too scared or reluctant to say properly, which is that he is God and he's part of the Trinity. Number one. Number two, he said that there's not one place in the Bible that mentions Muhammad by indication. I've already just shown him there's no other person 
who is an Arab who came to the See, Arabs over and except over again, for Muhammad, Jesus has mentioned said, in chapter 42, verse 11 of Isaiah. He had no that's answer to why they, the they were behind him. the robustness of these arguments. Wassalamu alaikum wa Allahu Akbar. Over and over Jesus again, God. Jesus said, I am God. No, over and over again, they were behind Jesus. Over and over again, they were about to stone Jesus. For what reason? Because he was claiming to be God. Amen. Amen. Bro, bro, so up in there, bro. So, Muhammad Hijab, um, debating Psalm 110, concedes that Jesus is the other God in Psalm 110. Now, they will walk away with a carefully edited film saying that um, uh, uh, this Christian doesn't know what he believes and uh, this Christian keeps interrupting, but we both stand together yes. that Father, Son and Holy Spirit are one. And we're in agreement and we align ourselves with God's Word. We're not intimidated by um, uh, them quoting scholars and saying the majority of scholars don't agree with us. And so, also, brother, over and over and over again, Jesus explained to Pharisees and Sadducees that, yes, I am God, but they were so uh, stiff-necked, they don't want to listen to him. Yeah, they yeah. don't want to understand to Jesus. Exactly. That's why they over and over again refused Jesus yeah. to be God. And they, and they said, you are blaspheming. Yeah, yeah. You cannot be God. They picked up stones to kill him, kill him. because he was claiming that he was God. That's right. And Muhammad Hijab doesn't use that no. in, the, in the conversation. He refuses to acknowledge that. He goes, no, no, no. But once he told them, you are gods, then they didn't want to kill him. They still wanted to kill him, but Jesus miraculously escaped. And, he didn't, he didn't. And, and that shows me, that shows me, they are not uh, better than those uh, Jews. They are not better than those uh, Pharisees and Sadducees. Exactly. They are same as those Pharisees and Sadducees. Those who accused uh, Jesus that you are not God. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you are not son of God. Why are you claiming to be son of God? Why you are claiming to be God? Why are you saying you are uh, before our father Abraham? Yeah, yeah. Why are you he said, him? I am before before Abraham was, I am. I am. But let's wrap this up. Basically, Muhammad Hijab um, blasphemed in front of us. He used the name of God, didn't yeah. use the name of Jesus. Yeah. He used the name of God as an expletive, as a swear word. Uh. I asked him and I asked all the people that were with him, mm. how can you blaspheme your God in front of all these people? He dismissed everything we said yeah. and then said that um, Jesus... Um, is a, a, a small g, small god, yeah. and that he was claiming that he's like yeah. a man. And that's clearly not the case. We know that Jesus is Lord. Amen. We are here in love to speak to these people that's so right. that they can find Christ and they can go to salvation. Yeah. They don't want to listen. They don't want to hear. Yeah. Their ears are stopped. Yeah. We pray for them. Please, brothers and sisters around the world, support Soko Films and please support. come here to Speaker's Corner yeah. and support us because we need more Christians with cameras here yeah. and we need more Christians preaching here yes. and we need more people that are from different cultures right. coming over here. Yeah. If you look this, if you pan this camera around and you look around here, there are so many Muslim people and atheists outnumbering a handful of Christians. What are you doing sitting at home on your couch? Come to Speaker's Corner, get involved. The That's gospel right. is a simple message. Amen. The gospel is easy to preach. It's easy to talk Amen. to. Amen. It's easy to talk to these people. That's right. And please, if you can't come here, yeah. pray that these people will start being converted. That's pray true. that they'll be brave yeah. and start saying, you know what? Yeah. I think I believe in Jesus. Because Jesus is the only way. Amen. Peace to you. Peace to Soko. Peace to everyone around the world. God bless you all. Bye. Bless you. Bye. God bless you. Cut.